My name is Kent Mayer. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. I work in the Inland Fisheries Program. Today we're going to talk about ice fishing and hopefully get you excited about that. I brought with me Mark Divens. He's a senior fisheries biologist for the department. And I brought along my wife, Lisa, who has never fished before. As a rookie, hopefully she'll be able to pull some fish out of the ice and you can see what that looks like. We're here in eastern Washington where there are a number of lakes that are open for ice fishing. They're underutilized and we think it's a great idea that you and your family come out. The lakes here, some of them are winter only, such as Hog Canyon Reservoir that's behind us, that will be on today. Others are year round, and those you have to look up in your regulations to find out where those are located. However, ice fishing has a lot of benefits, it's a lot of fun, and we're gonna talk about ice safety, we'll talk about some of the gear you need, and hopefully we'll show you a few fish. So I think we're ready to go, let's go fishing. Well, we've walked out onto the lake and we think we've found the perfect spot to go fishing. We had a large snowfall last night, so Mark is clearing off the snow off of the ice. Once we have an area cleaned off, we're going to go ahead and use an ice auger to get through. This ice is about eight inches thick and this is a simple, easy, fairly inexpensive way to get through the ice so we can start fishing. All right, we've got the ice cleared off. We're going to drill several holes. We'll get a pole set up, but first let's get through the ice. We now have drilled our first hole and we're going to check the ice thickness. We'll take our ladle, we'll measure down to the bottom of the hole, and right now the ice is about that thick. Four inches would be the minimum amount for safety reasons, however if you have a snowmobile, an ice shack, or any other equipment, you'd like to have it thicker. But right now we've got about 10 inches and I think we're perfectly safe and now let's move on to the next hole. So Lisa has a fish on the line probably a trout. Let's find out if she'll bring it up to the surface and we'll say hi. You see it? Keep bringing it up, honey. There you go. There it is. And there we go. <laughs> he almost made it back in. So as you can see, Lisa caught the first fish of the day. It's about 8 to 10 inches and we think it's a keeper. You need to check your local regulations for where you go ice fishing about what you can keep. For now, we'll try for some bigger ones. Here's one. Looks like Lisa's got another fish. Let's see what she has. Probably a rainbow trout. Looks a guess. little bigger. Going, honey? Oh, a little smaller. A little smaller. Bring it up to the ice. Okay, today we wanted to show you a little bit about what we're using out here at the lake. And what's neat about the ice fishing out here is you really don't need any specialty equipment. In fact, you can use the same rod that you would use on your opening day trout fishing adventure or for pan fishing in the summertime. Um, some of the gear that we've been using and been successful out here this winter are the small black marabou jig, similar to what you might use for crappie, and just a piece of worm. Alternatively to that, there are some ice fishing setups that are made for the, the sport here, small short rods, um, they're really nice if you're working inside of an ice house so you don't have that long rod to, to move around. The other thing that's working, been working well for us is just a small number eight hook with some bait here. In this case, I'm using a piece of night crawler and a couple of balls of fire red salmon eggs. A couple split shot on there and that's pretty much all you need to do to be successful out here and enjoy the day ice fishing. Yep, six feet down on our little black jig with a piece of power bait on it. Got another nice rainbow. So here we have another fish. We've got a special rod and reel, which we'll show you in a minute. This is our biggest fish of the day. Here's what it's all about. Oh, wow. Woo -hoo. As you can see, we've hooked this beautiful 18 inch rainbow trout right through the ice. What makes this special is, I caught it on this little pole. It's actually a Mickey Mouse setup. Caught it for $3 at a local hardware store. And that's all you need when you want to go ice fishing. Another piece of equipment that I'd like to show you that some anglers use when ice fishing is called a tip up. The way this works is it has a small reel and a flag that pops up when a fish is taking your bait. So you just rig this up similar to what we had on a regular fishing rod, 
with a hook, a couple weights, and, and the bait you want to use, and then you lower that down into the hole. Once you have that set, the flag raises up, and, and you set it over the hole like that. Now that a fish, when a fish takes your bait, that flag is gonna pop up and you can run over and grab that tip up and, and pull in your trout. In Washington State, you're, an angler is allowed to use up to two tip ups if they have a two pole permit. Well, we're coming to the close of our day at Hog Canyon Lake. We had a wonderful day ice fishing, saw some beautiful fish, caught some beautiful fish, saw a bald eagle. I taught my wife how to fish through the ice. What do you think? I think it was great. I had a lot of fun today. So as we near Christmas, this is much better than spending time doing your holiday shopping. You may want to think about bringing your family out to any of the lakes in eastern Washington and perhaps you can catch one of these. We hope you have a good time. <laughs>